pink champagne I'm totally vibing It's true what they say It's all about timing Hi guys, C Chronicles here. Welcome to my channel. This is Unscripted and Happy New Month. I hope you're enjoying uh, September so far. We are four days or five days in and I thought to drop a rotation tray. But before then, let me welcome anyone who's new here. I post fragrance related content as well as uh, vlogs on this channel and would very much appreciate it if you did consider subscribing and joining the family. Now to anyone who's returning, thank you so much for the continued support. This is going to be a video on fragrances that are picked to wear for the month of September. September, and I'm going to be giving you brief reasons why I chose this fragrance. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you my lineup and hope you enjoy. So let us focus on the tray now and I will see you with an outro, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm going to use this pretty tray for the month of uh, September. And the first one on the lineup is Golden Decade from Zara. This is one of the beast mode fragrances that Zara gave us, drawing inspiration from YSL Lib Intense. It's built around the aromatic lavender, some citruses, white florals there, as well as an addictive sweet vanilla, warm, spicy scent to my nose. You know, that is ideal for the season. And it's mostly the vanilla that you're going to get from Golden Decade uh, than in anything else so that is the first one i chose uh the second one i thought to uh put on the tray is going to be by riddles rained in the wee centered and built around the rose especially this uh particular fragrance so there is a spiciness there is a sweetness smokiness earthiness that sort of thing but it's definitely going to keep a woody feel and uh a fruity feel if you know what i mean so this one was an easy one you know to decide to add on this tray another one that i kind of struggle with in as much as I don't have a problem with the news is this particular one. I uh, had to grab this one when it was uh, Mother's Day promo, something like that. Angel, the original Angel. Guys, this is here primarily for the chocolate note, the praline. It's got the vanilla as well. Uh, it has some sandalwood and a tonka, uh, but it was that chocolate kick that I thought to play around with this time around and see if it works. But it's a tough one in the sense that it is quite pushy, very, very pushy. So the fragrances I'm putting, unfortunately, this is going to mess my tray. I think I'm going to have to move it maybe to that side because this one is, you know, flat lay. Oh, maybe let's see if it can sit. No, it can't sit. So this is going to be flat. But yes, certainly picked this one. Ideal fragrance uh, for fall because it does have that chocolate. So it's going to be a, a gourmand, but it is one of those very uh, fragrances with like a gazillion notes, if you, if you will. It's got coconut and all, but it becomes more of a chocolate fragrance uh yeah that sort of thing right the fourth one that i want to play around with this month guys is going to be obsession by kelvin klein now this is not a new fragrance to a lot of people it's super spicy uh another one that comes with a gazillion uh, notes it's woody it's aromatic it's got the vanilla there also vinty toned uh but i believe this formulation is now a little bit better than the original formulation which was the one that was released i think maybe 30 years ago or something like that but it's still a busy fragrance altogether so you've got to love very spicy woody sophisticated style of fragrances for you to appreciate this so these are all heavy weights these particular fragrances that i'm putting here are all heavy weights uh but i did decide to throw in you know light light uh weight fragrances like this adam levine uh this simply put guys is your um, warm soft sandalwood but in as much as the sandalwood is warm and soft it's also rich all right it's a very sturdy type of sandalwood where you will feel that this is a sandalwood centered you know style of fragrance that has those spices uh and woods separately from the sandalwood and then the finish of this fragrance is obviously that vanilla so yes this is going to be a light one that is going to be easy reach for me you can see just based off the dent there that it is one fragrance that i've played around a lot with i absolutely love uh, Adam Levine for her. It is a celebrity fragrance. Could be better when it comes to uh, lasting power, but then it is what it is. I mean, you, you get what you pay for, so I'm not complaining. Uh, another one that made it on this lineup uh, for the chocolate kick is going to be Sud de Pacifique um, Amour de Cacao, right? Uh, this one says Amour de Cacao. The sticker uh, is dark sort of like suggesting a dark chocolate scented style of fragrance but the chocolate that i get in here is a very light one you know like um like 
cocoa powder, like when you just smell cocoa powder, uh, maybe say you opened a, uh, a jar of cocoa powder and you just put your nose at that, that is how the uh, chocolate uh, translates in this. It's not a heavy duty chocolate, nowhere near fragrances like uh, Billie Eilish, Eilish, that sort of thing. It's very light chocolate, kind of vibes like you are wrapped around biscuits, if you know what I mean, or somebody has been baking biscuits or that's taste of biscuits. Yeah, that's how I can uh, just describe it. Simply put, this uh, comes, uh, this uh, Sud de Pacifique Amour de Cacao. Simply put, uh, say you had a pack of biscuits, lemon creams or whatever it was, right? Imagine those with uh, the cream, the cream being uh, chocolate cream, but not a very heavy chocolate cream. And then you just have a, a bite of that in your mouth. That taste that you get is exactly how this fragrance vibes. vibes. It's almost like, you know, you wrapping yourself around, you know, a biscuit, basically. And then I'm going to have some purse sprays, which I'm going to carry around. Burberry got just being one of them and I don't usually use my minis but why I have this Burberry goddess that I'm going to carry as a purse spray is because of this particular one now if you know what I do I do have a second channel where I focus mostly on Middle Eastern fragrances so Athena is a Middle Eastern fragrance that vibes identical to my Burberry goddess so what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be cheating when it comes to this carry that as a purse spray you know to maybe just revamp my fragrance not that this one doesn't have a lasting power it does but I'm just going to like douse myself in this because I already have a backup bottle and then I'm going to carry this around as a purse spray because now that I have access to this one easily it's one thing where I can literally just absolutely use this in as much as I always say I hardly use my travel sizes and stuff like that this i'm gonna use because i absolutely love in fact let me show you i mean let me not just show you a box there okay so that is the Burberry goddess so this one vibes like this right so and this one is going to be the odd one out on this entire tray because this is middle eastern but perfume is perfume at the end of the day right so that's how the tray is looking so far and then what uh, an ideal time to use the fenty right i love fenty and it still remains my favorite fragrance and this is certainly a celebrity fragrance, but in quotation, because I think we all know that uh, Rivi went the extra mile. They worked with Louis Vuitton and stuff. So the quality of this fragrance, guys, is amazing. I'm yet to find something that I can recommend to you on my other channel that vibes like this. Nothing beats this uh, blueberry, rose, spicy, scented fragrance, woody, all the nice stuff. Heavyweight as well. Uh, it's going to smell amazing. And I love this fragrance. I know it's not for everybody but I absolutely love this fragrance so that is why it made it on my tray another travel size that I'm going to wear well it is a travel size but it's way way bigger than the ordinary travel size this I picked because of the sandalwood vibe that it has it's off-white and it's solution number four this is a brand that I intend to explore. This particular one has got that tobacco note. It's got sandalwood, some tonka, some soft woods, right? And a green feel as well. So it gives you a bit of everything. Spices, woods, uh, warmthness to it, a an aromatic kick to it, a little bit of a greenness to it, but I wouldn't call it green. It actually has a rich sandalwood. So it's mostly going to be that sandalwood doing more of the talking in this off-white. So if you see this fragrance around, guys, uh, and you were wondering what it's about, that is what it's about. I like how minimalistic the packaging is. It's not that wasteful and all that. So uh, yes, it's certainly going to be one that I'm going to use um without carrying it around because it as i said it's 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 a cross between a mini and and somewhat of a normal sized fragrance because if you look at the differences there you can more or less tell right so the other one that i'm going to wear is going to be the ysl and this i'm going to layer this ysl lip i am going to layer sorry guys the space is a little bit tight i'm going to layer with golden decade because this particular one is the edp and this one is is not YSL is of course from Zara Golden Decade but it draws its inspiration from that Lib Intense which is um, a vanilla scented fragrance very vanilla forward so I will possibly alternate between these two because they do vibe the same although this one is very amped up there more sweeter more you know more enjoyable this one gives me a little bit of a masculine kick but it's a fragrance that though it's not my favorite uh, to be very honest it's a fragrance that I do not mind you know playing around with let me just switch these so that the shorter ones 
get uh you know the limelight last fragrance on this lineup is going to be unibati uh from of course a uh, diptyque now this is a tester the reason why i'm just going to take it out this the reason why i have it on this lineup is i want to wear this tester to see if i actually need the full size this tester guys gives me the same vibe as as dune by dio and June, I believe, has been discontinued, right? But I just have this one to just use once, like a single day's wear. Uh, more so that it is woody as well, aromatic. It's got, um, what else is in Dune? I know it's woody, it's aromatic, it's spicy, that sort of thing. So it's a beautiful fragrance uh, all together. It's Ernabati, but this is not the center of the tray, right? The actual tray looks like this. And for those who would love to see my other tray, because I do showcase two trays a month, I do have a Middle Eastern tray that I dropped on my channel, C Chronicles Talking Sense, where I do mostly Middle Eastern fragrances. So if I look like I've just put a little bit of perfumes there, not as many as you expect, it's because I do have another tray. So I switch between the Middle Eastern and these non-Middle Eastern fragrances. I'm still building on other brands. So the more I collect, the bigger the trays are gonna be are gonna become basically. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I'd love to know in the comment section what you will be wearing, especially in fall. Uh, what are your recommendations? Which fragrance did I put on this tray that you feel you like? I would just love to interact with you in the comment section. Remember to turn on post notifications. That way you get to be notified, guys, anytime I upload a video. Stay safe, be blessed. Love you as always, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.